Welcome to the channel and today we'll be listing the only hip hop albums to hit number one in the United Kingdom in 2018. While countless hip hop albums hit number one in the United States, outside the US hip hop is not as dominant, and only a few albums are able to hit number one, especially outside North America. And today we'll be listing the only hip hop albums to pick at number one in the United Kingdom. But before we get started, we'll also list prominent number one hip hop albums in the United States released in 2018 that failed to make it to number one in the United Kingdom. As always, remember to subscribe if you're new to the channel and turn on notifications. Invasion of Privacy, one of the biggest hip hop albums of 2018, debuted at number one in the United States, but the surge in popularity of Cardi B in the United States wasn't enough to land the female rapper a number one album in the United Kingdom, and Invasion of Privacy picked at number five in the United Kingdom. Lil Wayne's The Cato 5 opened in the United States with the third biggest first week sales of the year at 480,000 equivalent album units sold, but hip hop fans in the United Kingdom probably lost their patience waiting for The Cato 5, and the album peaked at number 5 and spent 3 weeks in the top 40. Astro World by Travis Scott had the second biggest hip hop opening of 2018 with worldwide sales of 650,000 equivalent units sold first week, but 537,000 of this figure came from the United States alone and in the United Kingdom, Astro World peaked at number 3 and spent 14 weeks in the top 40. K.O.D. by J. Cole was also one of the biggest hip hop albums of 2018 and despite opening with nearly 400,000 equivalent units sold in the United States, K.O.D. just about missed the top spot in the United Kingdom and picked at number 2 on the official albums chart. Post Malone's Beer Bongs and Bentleys is one of the biggest hip hop albums of 2018 and with inclusion of streams is the second best selling hip hop album of the year worldwide and remember, this is not a double album. Beer Bongs and Bentleys picked at number one in the United Kingdom where it spent one week at the top of the album's chart. Scorpion, Drake's 2018 double album, also achieved success in the United Kingdom and has performed exceptionally outside North America. It has had the biggest opening of 2018 so far in terms of equivalent sales globally, and Scorpion spent a total of 3 weeks at number 1 in the United Kingdom. The 3 weeks spent at number 1 were also consecutive weeks, which makes this even more impressive. You know, everybody's been telling me. At number one is Eminem's surprise album Kamikaze, and this is the biggest non soundtrack album of the year in the United Kingdom in terms of weeks spent at number one. Kamikaze performed much better on the charts compared to Eminem's previous albums up until Recovery, that spent more weeks at number one. Revival, for instance, spent one week at number one, but Kamikaze spent a consecutive four weeks at number one in the United Kingdom, and the fact that the album had no promo in the United Kingdom makes this even more impressive. You can check out our video about kamikaze's feats and accomplishments so far at the link that pops up at the top right corner now. Kamikaze proved critics wrong in the United States and overseas, and if you enjoy the content of this channel, consider donating to our PayPal at the link in the description of this video. Thanks for watching, remember to subscribe if you're new and leave your thoughts in the comment section below.